and welcome to Wild Card Wednesdays, where we play a variety of games with reckless abandon. I am the voice of the Institute, Larissa, joined by the man behind the curtain, Mark. How you doing? Uh, ready for some more Planetfall. Woo, Planetfall. Yeah, we're back with Planetfall. This is part four of our little ongoing campaign here. We got Mark over on the main channel, Templin or twitch.tv slash Templin Institute. I'm on the second channel, Templin Institute POV, twitch.tv slash Templin Institute POV. So you can see what I'm doing over there. Uh, there's also a command in the main Twitch chat here to pull it up if you're missing the link. You can just type exclamation mark Larissa POV and then you'll get a link to my view. Um, am I missing anything? Uh, no, I think that's, uh, I think that's about everything. All right. Well, uh, in case those of you folks have missed the first three parts of this Planetfall campaign here, uh, Mark and I are currently in, and it's an alliance, right? Full, uh, full yeah, alliance? Yes, we are in alliance because we're going to be taking down Tex Vadislav, the Devar guy who seems to be hungering for the world's end. Pay no mind to the doomsday devices that I've been building in my territory. Those don't exist. Yeah, you keep saying that, that Tex is power hungry, but really, I think it might be you. Um, mm. I think I might have been tricked here. Uh, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound okay. right at all. Well, what do I know? Yeah, I think that's that's just Tex whispering in your ear. I mean, you're the one literally whispering in my ear, but you're probably right. That's it's, it's Tex. <laughs> yeah, blame Tex. We're actually at war with Tex. Yes, uh, I'd forgotten about that. Yeah, uh, last uh, at the end of the last session, I was invading. Uh, what is this? The the Eastern Front, and I took. Uh, Kaladin Meadow and, and Hazelwood Fields and Will, Willpower Wood from him, and I'm just marching on Ur, Urdinsk. I mean, you said you were going to help, but I haven't seen any uh, any evidence of it, so. Uh, well, I've currently got two armies massed by the uh, Urban Sprawl area, uh, okay. um, and that. I've I, and I'm going to. Uh, I'm also going to take the Amber Range, because it's down there. Um... So I'm I'm getting pretty close on marching on one of his, uh, his colonies here. But it's it's quite powerful. Metallic. Like, uh, yes. So I don't think both my armies are at capacity to beat him soundly. I'll need well, to uh, like bring in a close. third. It's close, like closer than I'd like. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've also got spacers attacking the dwelling of Psychotic Shantytown, which I own. Um, but I don't have enough like, people there to really do anything about it. Yeah, you do. Not, not really. Like the... Oh, wait, no, I see they got two armies. Never mind. I yeah. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be kind of rough if they attack you there. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go after his... His smaller territories. Well, my army's doing pretty well. Well, that's good. Yeah. Any more roads, though? I need to seize Kaladin Meadow. Yeah, how... Maybe I should just make another colony there, actually. Roads are just, like... They just happen, right? Yeah, as far as I can tell, they're, they're built automatically once you annex the province. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I need some more connections to the, the front on my end. In fact, if it wasn't on the other side of the territory, I'd have Onkstgrav make a colonizer, but it's too far. Oh. Although, I want to take over the recorder range. So maybe I will make a colonizer there. Yeah, exactly. The official anthem of the recorder range. The Great Recorder Symphony. Yep. Oh yeah, I can steal maps. Who can I steal maps from? How do you steal maps? I never figured out how to do that. Because stealing them from text would be good, because I can't see any of his stuff. Yeah, I actually... I can't steal from him, because he's on too high of an alert. Ah. Yeah. Um... But... I can launch it against the assembly 
or the Amazons. I don't like the Amazons. Steal from them. Yeah, but I've got a 58% chance of being detected and a, only a 35% chance of being successful. Oh, yeah, well, it's still one in three. Yeah, but if I go after the assembly, it's a 52% chance to be detected, but a 45% chance of success. Well, you gotta spend detection to make it. That doesn't work, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go against the assembly. Ah, I lost. But I collected a whole bunch of data points. Oh, well, that's, that's something. Awesome. My map looks looks super janky though. Yeah. Huh. All right. Oh boy. Uh, I'm getting attacked. Really, really poorly. Or, I mean, I'm being overwhelmed. I'm gonna do manual combat for this one, because I might be able to take some of them out with me. This looks like the shanty town. It is the shanty town. More shanty than I could have imagined. All the shantiness. Is what is happening? You have a space arcade. What's happening to my people? Except the R is backwards. It's like Toys R Us. Ooh, spooky. Uh, sir, field rage. Oh, I have a spacer effigy on my side. What do those do? Have we ever? Uh... They, they're buffs, basically. They give you a buff. Uh, so I have Fueled Rage, which I think just makes me deal more damage. Uh-huh. I think. Okay, so there's two main armies. One coming up the middle, one on the left. So, don't really know what to do. The description for the effigy says, I knew the skull on that post. He died trying to save his family. <laughs> they should have a follow-up sentence. He makes a better post than a father. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. So I've got a whole, like, flying contingent here. I'm gonna get set up, like... A line. Nice big defensive line. And then... Line up here. Okay. Alright. Let's see what they do. We've also got those Roys on the field. Operations ready. Do they explode onto the map, or what happened there? Um, they just exploded. Because they just explode. Uh... That's, uh, that's one of the, the mods that they have is... I think some of my units have that too, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, they just... they'll... They'll explode and cause... damage. Why would they explode all the way over there? Because they just explode at the end of every turn. I don't think they actually oh, okay. have much control over that particular element. Um, I only have a 5% chance to hit everything. 5, 10%, 10%. All right. 
The first blood has been drawn. Not much, though. Nope. Not much. 35% versus 33%. Yeah, we'll do the 35%. Woo! Critical hit. Very nice. Oh hey! God. Killed the first enemy jerk. You have an electrolyte engulfer. Electrolyte engulfer? Yeah, I guess that's a due to mods. I just engulf electrolytes. So really good at taking uh like Gatorade. Yeah, I'd assume so. Makes sense, makes sense. Oh wait, I just realized I haven't done any operations. I should do Deploy the thing or corrosive detonator. Eh, they might be close enough together that I can do this corrosive detonator. I'm getting a lot of critical hits this time. Isn't that because of uh, the swarm shield thing or whatever that's about? Um, I think that might be Fury of the Swarm, which is a slightly different thing. Okay. Uh, not 100% sure though. You also have Fueled Rage. Yeah, from the um, sticks. You know them sticks? Yeah. That was sad. Okay. What are they doing? Oh! That happened fast. Are all my melee units dead now? No, not all of them. Just too many of them. Unit is falling. Oh no. I've only got the one ground unit left. <laughs> all right. Getting all them rage bonus points. I want to try this spirit flash thing. Let's see how that goes. Make them all staggered and confused. the chopper. Pretty big threat. Uh. Okay. 
Enemy down. Yay, I brought down their friggin' plane thing. And they've got a second plane that's almost down. That's nice. Enemy destroyed. Yay! Two for one, almost. Not really. Close. Okay. Uh, what's happening? A little confused. Uh, I really can't see what's going on over here. Attack them with my claws. That was a big glob. Oh my. Ugh. Yep, there goes my second. Second melee unit's gone. Unit down. Okay, I've got these Roy bots. Are they weak to anything? Do you know? Um, well, I, I mean, I, I'm looking at what they got. Um, between the, the stuff that's against you, I think only the elite truck, the other elite truck, and maybe just those two can shoot air. Right. Um, and maybe the, uh, what's this guy? The elite melter. Um, yeah. So I would ignore the the psychos, the the manhunters, uh, Roy too, and uh, the blade maws. Um, focus on the stuff that can kill your your farm guys. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I want to take down this truck with a laser pistol because that just seems cool. Man, make it blow up. Yay! What's your percentage to hit on this? Because uh, I might be gonna do that with flank on stuff too. Uh that one was a 65. Um, oh, okay. but flanking was it's probably not a horrible idea, because this guy's at 40% chance to hit. Um if I go at the side here, is it that's the same chance to hit. Okay, well. Uh, I don't know if flanking increases damage or not, or just chance to hit. I, th I think it's damage. Hey! Okay. Yeah. Alright. That worked out well for you. Yeah, it seems to. Okay, my psychic guy is alarmingly close to quite a few melee units, so I'm gonna pull him back quite a bit. And then... That didn't work. Alright. Oh my. Unit that gunk thrower takes a lot of damage. Oh! Okay, those, those grasshopper things can jump. I should have seen that coming. Uh, should he have those? I mean, I didn't know that. That grasshoppers can jump? Well, so they can jump and hit aircraft? I feel 
like that's a natural kind of progression of their abilities, though, you know? Okay, yeah, well, it was news to me. I still don't think the Melter or the Cycles can hit air, though, but take that advice at your own risk. <laughs> Only affects ground targets. Okay, I am right about about uh, the Spacers. Or the, the Psychos, rather. And... Uh... No, I'm pretty sure the Melter... Enemy annihilated! He did. Okay. And now the other jumpy guys. Uh, eighty percent chance to hit. Yeah, I can shoot from here. Yeah. I generally want to avoid moving whenever I can because it takes away action points. Action points that could be used to cause more damage, but you know, it's not always. Is that how do action points contribute to the attack? They do. Um, if you have unspent action points when you start a uh, an attack, then you use all your all your action points. I did not know that. Yeah. It's a uh, pretty helpful, in my opinion. Oh, there goes one of my flying guys. But I might actually win this. Okay, get revenge for your fallen brother. Yay! Revenge. Okay. Enemy killed. Great. Okay, now I can just mop up now. I missed a lot. So how come that thing has a laser pistol? Uh, because there's a guy riding on it. Oh, and he has got a laser. Pistol. He's got the laser pistol. Unit destroyed. They're spending an awful Unit lot of time destroyed. killing my buffer. <laughs> okay. Uh, Non-Zero Eagle says, um, action points only affect damage if the uh, attack in question says repeating next to the action. Ah. That makes sense. Okay. Uh. Well, I've only got a few units left here. Enemy killed. And now it's just the Roy's left. Okay. Am I right, or are there any, any other guys hiding out on the field that I didn't see? Uh, Roy's are all I see that's left, apart from the uh, effigies. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about the effigies. Um, I don't think, ooh, I can do a healing thing, healing surge, on one of my units here. Yay, it'll hurt less in the morning. Okay, this whole defensive mode thing is really putting a crimp in my style.
enemy killed. The enemies of the hive have been Yay! defeated. I win. Enemy. That is a big relief because that was a very large army. <laughs> very, very large army. Huh. What's I'm huh? thinking of uh, engaging the, uh, so what do you call it, the uh, opposition incinerator. Yeah. Um, it's defended by an army with the power of 1695 versus mine 1657, so I Ooh. can't really... Yeah, that's, so, that's a close call. Manual combat it is. Luckily, I think everyone in this army is in a tank of some kind, so... Oh, except and for tanks PK. never blow up. Oh, that's a cool map. I mean, this is what I'd expect an opposition incinerator to look like, so... It makes sense. That does make sense. So what the fuck is that thing? Oh, that is Spider a drone robots? carrier. Alright, from the lore that I've been researching, I know that drone carriers are bad. Or... You know, good, which is bad for me. I gotcha. They're effective? Yeah, but I got, uh... I got this tank that... Oh! This is a sexy looking tank. Well, it's not, yeah. but it looks like it can do some damage. I don't know... Does it have a shield? It has, like, a force projector, which just seems like a, a regular attack. It has a boost fallout shields um which i don't know seems like probably a really good idea and then looks like an area of attack kind of thing yeah um i think i'll just reform the line reform the line But some of these uh, icons over your tanks have are slightly different. What does that signify? Um, well, the ones with the regular stars are unupgraded tanks, whereas the ones with stars, or sorry, the ones with stars are unupgraded. The ones with the laser-looking thing. Ah, oh, those are my, modified. Uh, I believe those are my T95s. Gotcha. Yeah. So I can't actually shoot anything. So Overwatch it is. I don't know. I gotta see what these things do before I can really decide do how to camp them, I guess. The plasmoids are attacking! Nah, so that's what the drone carrier does. Make drones. I guess I mean, I, I knew that, but I didn't realize that I was working the game. Oh, fuck, they got... Whatever the hell that was. Kind of giant walker thing. But hey, you take some some hits on it. Or it yeah. hit. Kincaid took off a shot, that's nice. Okay, well this drone thing is gonna be gonna be trouble, so. Uh... Yeah, how often can it make drones? Can't use ability for six turns. Launch a repair drone. Or launch a skirmish drone with a cooldown of five turns. And then attack drones with a cooldown of five turns. So it just sent out its repair drones. Yeah. It has kinetic resistance, psionic resistance, dagger resistance. In fact, it's immune. But it's oh. weak to arc attacks. Only I don't think I have any arc attacks. Um, Where are you seeing its weakness? I clicked on it and brought up the wiki. Uh, Thing. So. Oh, I see it. I see.
Okay. Oh, um. Firestorm projectile seems good. Oh, this um, this giant ball behind the uh, the drone carrier, I think, is is destructible, and it's yeah. explosive. That might be able to help you out. Uh, okay. Well, like maybe your operation. I don't know. I'm gonna do something. I don't know if this is gonna, or maybe that's a better idea. Ah. It's all new to me, so I'm just gonna kind of guess here. I set it on fire. And maybe that'll set that ball thing on fire, too. Maybe. I do know this walker thing looks scary to me. Yeah, I don't trust it. Got a plasma cutter. It's very scary looking. Sort of looks like the uh, destroyer from Thor. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen that movie. I mean, there's there's better Marvel movies. <laughs> Overcharge the laser cannon. Uh, yeah. Wait, okay. is that... I'll do that. Overcharge it. Whoa. That's cool. Can I? I mean, I should do that all the time. What's it? What's it do? It staggers units, including stagger resistant units, but I don't think that applies on immune units. Yeah. Well, get up there, Kincaid. Oh. Go be a hero. Dumb. Now we can't shoot anybody. Oh. No right, sight. the snipers need three action points. Oh, whatever. I, I, they need to, like, change the sound effects for some of these, because it's not that, like, impressive, but it's like... Two. Yeah, the, uh... The guns don't have a lot of oomph. And by no, the way, don't. thank you, Beliadius, for following. Well, I might as well do something. Yeah? Ooh. That seemed pretty effective. Yeah. What the Whoa, fuck was what? that? What just happened? I don't know. Maybe one of their operations? Maybe. <clears throat> All their units seem fire based, so that makes sense. Nothing just keeps making drones. Yeah, but once it's finished making drones, it then has to wait like five turns. So. Well, it's already made two or three from what I can tell. And those things sealed themselves. God damn. No, he, he sent. The first drones that he made were repair drones. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's super annoying. Yeah. And I think these little plasmoids are gonna try the uh, surround you technique. Yay! Okay, well that's a bonus. One less thing to worry about. Well, it's good to know that I can defeat swarms of drones. Um, <laughs> oh, fucking uh oh. Watch. Uh, Kick and Cade needs a health kit. He does. Luckily, these drones seem to suck, so. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, right, there's also guys with guns. Yeah, um... They also have plasma bombs. I'd be a bit worried. I'm gonna try something new. What is that? It's a, a nanite thing, so it obscures those two tanks and heals them. Ah. I keep focusing on the uh, offensive operations and not the supportive ones, so. Right. I feel like this might be a good move. I think just made another thing. What's the cooldown like on that ability? Cause... It's uh, five or six turns. Jesus. But how um, can this make so many? And it just heals it, it can make three, so it's it's now capped for the next four turns. It better be. God, those little plasmoid things sound awful. Yeah. Like, that's good de sound design. I wish all of the sound designs were <laughs> that, you know, impactful. The Overwatch did more damage than my attack. That's right. Hey! Hit. I'll take it. Okay, fuck those things. And now Overwatch triggered on this thing. Uh. So, they won't be able to shoot what they can't see, that's my theory anyways. It's worth the go anyway. chance. Well, shit. Okay. What the hell happened there? What is what is happening? Is that your Aegis tank? Uh, or was that their operation? Am I, like, on a grate that shoots out fire or something? Like, should I have moved Oh, forward? you... Okay. I know what this is. There is a map effect called the Phoenix Vault Purification Protocols. Every turn, uh, the vault's purification protocols initialize, choosing two random hostile targets, dispersing Pyrex gas to those and adjacent hexes. Okay, well, now we know. Yeah. I mean, I feel like someone probably should have written that down, maybe at the start. I didn't, I didn't really notice it, and then I didn't understand what it meant until just now. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I should have guessed. Like after the first time that happened, but uh, yeah, because they don't have operations enemy units, right? I I mean I'm not sure. I I don't actually know. Kincaid can't heal himself, so that's a bit of a downer. Yeah, because some of these things are marked burning ground, but uh, I didn't catch that on my. Uh, Okay, well, that's embarrassing. I also lost my nanite support thing then, too. Yeah. You got anything else that helps on the healing side? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to check after I shoot. Cool. That was, uh, well, whatever, it still works. <laughs> okay, operations, what do I got? Uh, laser sh strike seems maybe good. I could do another nanite support station, but maybe not. I don't know, I just want to hurt something. 
Do the laser on the uh, drone maker then. I'm gonna do firestorm projectile. Ooh. Okay, let's see how this does for me. Oh, okay, there something. it is. Yeah, that's the gas that explodes in one turn. Okay. This thing with the shield and the stop. Oh, fuck you. No! That thing has lasers too? What? I feel like that should be illegal. Yeah. That sucked. That was a brutal one. That tank's gonna explode now. It did its job. <laughs> uh, why only 45%? I'll take it, but that's still nonsense. Apparently, I can run over cover. Oh, dude! Okay, well, that'll learn him. I can't. Certainly not going to try that again. Well, at least I got that drone thing with my tank. Oh my god. Did it miss or did it attack two different targets? No. Uh, there were two different units that attacked the same target. Okay. But I mean, that, 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 the late, the walker thing seemed to fire twice. Oh yeah, at the same target. Yeah. All right, I got a 70% chance to win. Do it! Yes! Yay! I wish Kincaid lived, but then again, who does? Yeah, he'll he'll be around soon. Oh my god, that was tough. So can I? Yeah, I'm gonna annex it. Yeah. It lets me build a heavy-duty manufacturing plant. So that's probably really good. That does sound pretty good. But now I need more tanks, because they all died. Except I don't have enough uh, of that goddamn Cosmite. How much Cosmite do you need? Um, 30, 38 or 50. I can give you 38. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, uh, where's, how do I do that? The negotiate? Oh, your, your commander's recuperating, which means I can't send you stuff. Huh. <laughs> we need a bigger staff. Yeah, someone who can manage these tasks. Everything costs Cosmite. Slightly frustrating. Operations primed and ready. We tread a path. Cosmite mastery, that seems important. That does. Ooh, 
Ooh, an enemy colonist says, has uh, converted. Oh, sorry. Uh, the Cosmite price is probably meant to keep you from treating your units as expendable. I, I don't, though. I just lose them a lot because I'm bad. <laughs> You're not bad. It's just the nature of the, the way it goes. Okay. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, I've taken over three of Texas territories. Oh, really? I haven't even been paying attention to that. So, you're welcome. And... Tex has denounced me, but what else is new? So is Logan. I prefer to call him Login. <laughs> I think next turn or the turn after, I'm going to try to take Erdinsk, Erdinsk, whatever it's called. Okay. Erdinks, where is Erdinks? I'm getting attacked by those spacers again. That's annoying. They're going after Tonks, where I have a whole lot of nothing. Like you've got nothing there to defend? Well, I'm, one turn I'll have more turrets, but no actual army is there currently. Ah. They're all on the border with what's his face. I'm on the border with Erdinsk, so next turn, I guess. Yeah. It's right beside the throne of 40 lashes. I'm going to choose to interpret that as 40 eyelashes. Because that's just weird, and I like that. Finally got enough Cosmite for one tank, so there we go. And Keith Kincaid's back. Yay! Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work, but 
it didn't. Oh. Well, shit. That's, uh, that's rude. I can maybe still do this? Okay, whatever. I tried to attack her dinx, but, uh, no such luck. The Herald Zero One just followed. Thank you. Thank you kindly. I'm getting so many new colonists lately. Deserters. Uh, Strength One asks, is this a campaign map or a normal game? Uh, I guess normal. Like, it's not part of the story campaigns. It's just a, uh, a scenario, so. Yeah, just a general multiplayer game. The Amazon sent me a message. I think they want pants. The Amazons want pants. Yeah. I, I don't know if they, like, they haven't told me directly, but it looks that way from how they're dressed. All right. And Logan could use an undershirt. Production ready. Logan or Logan? Have we decided? Well, I want Logan. Okay, so is this going to work? Uh... Okay, I'm going to fight a... Uh, wait. Uh, mm. All right, fuck it. All I got right. a really big battle happening. Ooh, against Tex. Oh shit. What's the uh, relative strength? It's basically equal. Oh. I'm, I'm higher by like 50. Yeah, that's really close. And he seems to have a ton of stuff. Wow. It all looks very dangerous. It does. Okay, rocket artillery. I don't love that. I also got like cannons. Oh, he does have cannons. That doesn't. Hmm. It does not bode well. Uh, there are weakness. Yeah, with him going first, that gives him an advantage. How can I possibly win this? With grit? And probably, uh, stay close. Or stay far away from the cannon so they can't reach you? What's what's their range? Looks to be two to nine. Yeah, you're you're just outside the range of most of these turrets, so So it makes sense not to move forward then to let them come to me so at least yeah. only some stuff can shoot at me, I guess. Yeah. I think yeah, stay out of their <laughs> stay out of the range of the turrets and you should be fine. Strategy. What do these walkers do? I mean, I'm gonna turn on Overwatch for everything, and just hope that that works out in my favor. Hopefully.
We've also got a Johnny Vegas. Johnny Vegas on the field. He'll know what to do. I always trust Johnny. What are these little... These little sentinels are so cute. They're like little floating wallies. Little floating... What? Wallies. Oh, oh, I see. But they seem a little more aggressive than Wally, so maybe you should kill them. I feel like I should do something. I wonder if, uh... If Tex is going to keep his forces behind his cannon line. I mean, that would make sense, right? But Yeah. What do we know about Tex? Yeah, we don't know how he works yet. And Cecilia Starbound. Use Starlight to attack in a... Oh, boy. Uh, well, I will just move her. Well, she's already in cover, so she'll stay there. I'm also just reorient reorienting my, uh, my forces here. Something just happened. I think that was a good thing. Is that thing gonna shoot? No, it's not. It looks like the AI is actually pretty competent here. They're mostly moving to cover and staying behind the line. Yeah, which is not so great for you. It really isn't. Okay. Are you gonna take the risk and move forward? I'll probably just stay here for the rest of the game and not do anything. And we'll just stare at each other across the battlefield? Yeah. Uh... I do like laser strikes. That seems like maybe a good idea. Yeah, maybe if you punch a hole through one of their uh, turrets, might yeah. give you a... Although I don't think they actually have any holes in their defenses. Yeah. One turret is close enough to another turret that, that isn't gonna be very useful. Well, I mean, this seems like probably a good use of this. Let me just see what else I got, just in case. Shredder bomb. Yeah. Oops. Alright, firestorm protection thing it is. Very good, very good. Although with this, I'm only hitting like a bunch of stuff for a bit. I don't know what to do. Um, I think hitting a bunch of stuff for a bit is better than one for a lot, you know? Yeah. And now with burning ground, they're gonna have to move. Yeah, so if I move into the innermost thing. Uh, oh, that actually tells me. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I might actually just keep up my, my Overwatch and everything, even though that's not very fun to watch. It's more important that you win! Yes. I'm gonna do some, like, really tactical shit eventually. Maybe never.
a little weird how you're like inside that factory thing right now. Okay, as soon as they make a huge mistake and jump right into my guns, then I'll be good. Yeah. Um, two of your tanks are now in firing range. Are they? But Which it's ones? not going to cause a whole lot of damage. The ones you just moved. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, like, it'll take a little sliver of your health. So. I already used... Uh, I, I, yeah, I can't really do much about that. Yeah. Don't think you've got to worry. Okay, is this going to work? Or did I just screw up really badly? I screwed up badly. Uh-oh, what just happened? Well, I was hoping to get everything in range at the start, but no such luck. Yeah. Those bombard things can't shoot air, right? I'm sure they can. Oh. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, only affects ground targets. So. Really? Yeah. Where are you seeing that? I think on it. My kind of idea is to do a big flanking thing with all my air cab guys. And just like sweep along down the side? Yeah, sweep the leg. Only fixed ground Oh, there it is. Okay. And what to do with Cecilia? I don't know. Just overwatch some more. I don't know what to do with Cecilia. Got to take into account that there's other units that can probably shoot into this guy. Yeah. So are I these guys the like thing. shocking now? Well, they're still on burning ground. They don't seem to take any damage. Oh, that thing's missing the action. Oh, Jesus. I mean, at least I did more than a hit me. Yeah, by a long shot. Oh, now that walker thing's moving. Seems dangerous. Yeah, but you took one of those guys down already, so. Yeah. I mean, this is actually looking kind of good. They're, they're moving out of support range, so I can probably take them out piecemeal. Yeah. So they got a lot of stuff near my gunships now. Yeah, a lot of things with guns. Okay, so really what do I got? Guys. Device. Disruptor device. Ooh, oh, it has a like... chance of removing an action point on from mechanical targets. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. Now they're on fire yes. too. Everyone's on fire! <laughs> nice. Just like a nom. I think this is the first time we've seen Devar units in this stream. I think you're right. Okay, so that was pretty good. Yeah. Fair amount of cleanup there. Yeah. Do you have much in the way of, like, uh, repair and healing abilities? Uh, only on some of these guys. Not, uh... Oh, now I'm in range of two bombards. That was dumb, right? Yeah. And those are gonna hurt. I'm gonna maybe no. It's too late. I'll just do defensive mode. That's probably better. Okay. Now what to do about this Phoenix Walker? 
Sounds like an actor. <laughs> an actor Phoenix Walker. Well, it's like Joaquin Phoenix and uh, Christopher Walken. It sounds like a lame, like, comedy routine. Yeah. Okay, whatever. I'll just shoot the thing. How about that? That seems to be a pretty effective method. Bit. These things seem very bad. Or, I mean, like, the Devar Phoenix Walker seem very good. Yeah, in a bad way. Yeah. So. I'd really like to know what the range of some of the. Okay, I'll just move this thing, like, here. And then I'll shoot it. Some barricades for my trouble. <laughs> Shoot it again. We'll get Cecilia in on the action. Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. I've also blinded it. I don't. I don't know. Can it be blinded? Was that? Did that do anything? Oh, it's blind. Okay. The unit's accuracy is reduced by forty percent. Oh, that actually. Ooh, seems pretty, that seems very helpful. Good. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that was also pretty good. That was very good. Like half a half that unit's health just gone. Oh wow. Uh, I'll chance running up with my just regular dudes. Very good, very good. Yeah, I'm doing the very slow-paced tactical move, which I'm sure is amazing to watch on the stream, but I want to win. <laughs> They need to do something about those pistols, man, because that was... Yeah. Two! Ugh! Okay, and that's my brilliant turn. I think I'm doing okay. There's no yellow yeah. bar on this game, so who can say? Ooh! Oh, God. Okay, so those turrets do a fair amount of damage. That's good to know. Oh, and that's area of effect. Oh, my God, that could be... This could be... Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. That, uh... Okay. Maybe... Space clumping up... Out. Yeah, clumping up your planes seems like a bad idea. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. That's, that's not good. Okay. Uh. Oh my. Okay, well you still have three airships. I'm still flying half a ship. Oh, it just spun in a circle. Did you see that? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, I, I did. Yeah. It's weird to think your game's slightly ahead of mine. That is weird. Well, I was feeling a lot better about this until about a second ago. <laughs> oh, oh, my. What is this? Rocket Artillery Militia Unit? That's oh my fair. god. I think Texas is a jerk. Oh, wow. Those jackasses just healed? I 
many units have I lost this turn? All of them? Uh, I think four. Ramming me? What? The shit? what? That's not allowed. By the way, thank you, McCappyface, for resubscribing for nine months in a row. Thank you very much. Okay, so... Huh. What you thinking? Just, what do I kill? <laughs> I should have... Did that land on his own thing and... That's what I, don't, I don't think so. The Aegis tanks don't seem to do a whole lot. Yeah, I like them not as much as just regular tanks, you know? Yeah, like, they don't cause as much damage, like, they don't really do a whole lot independently. Lisa Walker has no, uh, actual weapons. So oh, all she can do is teleport? Away and fire. Oh yeah, she's on fire. Oh dear. You said it. Shit, that one tank's in a range of stuff, so that's not good. Yeah, that's probably gonna get shot at. Okay. Am I still doing poorly, do you think? I can't tell. Uh... You're not doing as good as you were last time. Yeah. Do I get operation points each turn, or...? You have a work? set number per battle, I think. Oh, uh, okay. And then you spend them all. Well, I might as well... ...kill something. Or half kill something. I hate that missile thing. I hate yeah, it a lot. Yeah, like it's it's blah. just when you think that the only bombarding things are, you know, not mobile. Find out that they are in fact mobile. Well, I killed those robots, so fuck you, flying Wally. <laughs> Sorry, flying Wally. Did you mean to skip that unit? Uh, no, I, I used it. Oh. Okay. Jesus. Uh. Is that their commander? Sun Chaser? No, I guess not. No! Fuck, Cecilia. Cecilia! You're breaking my heart! My gunships need more armor. Like, a lot more armor. Made out of tinfoil. Yeah, clearly. Oh. That 
those bastards heal the other bastards. Those bastards. And what'd that guy just do? Yo, yeah, that's just a bit much. There's machine guns too. No. Ah. Oh. I think I'm gonna lose. Yeah. Are you gonna fight to the bitter end or retreat? I'll fight to the bitter end. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. You got that one tank has one hit point left. Yeah. Oh, it healed. How'd you heal it? Uh, it has nanite injectors. It's one of my upgraded things. Aha! Come on, Johnny. Yeah, Johnny. I thought that was a pretty slick move. It was pretty cool. Jetting across the battlefield. Yeah. Johnny and the Jets. My gunships need much better guns. Yeah, that was... Pointed. That was like spitballs. Oh man, this used to be the center of my line, and now only that walker thing is left. I'll take that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with Lisa. Oh goddamn bombardment thing. I should move right next to their stuff, so <clears throat> if they bombard it, hits their own crap. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa. Zelia says, so we've decided the gunships need more gun and also more ship? Yep. Uh, correct. We this was a productive meeting. We're down to one gunship now. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. No! Why are flames effective against tanks? That makes no sense. So I hate the effect. It just looks like it's shooting wind at it. Yeah, what is that effect supposed to be? Force projector? I don't know. Those things are dead, so that's good. You are taking down a fair amount of his, uh, his forces. Yeah. But just not enough to, to win, I don't think. Yeah. No, Johnny! No, I needed that tank. The 
planes can go in the air? That is a whole lot of nonsense. Took a fair amount of damage this time. Yeah. <laughs> Just barely alive. If I can just kill everything without losing anything, I might win. Uh, nope. You were saying? Johnny. No! Johnny! Johnny, no! I think I can revive heroes through something though, right? Yeah. Uh, I think that's a strategy thing. Yeah. Oh, come on. No! It's just superfluous at this point. These things have nanites? No. At least it's running away like a coward. Ah. I have one unit left. One unit. For Gondor. Didn't seem to do much. No. You, uh, do you not have any more operations? Uh, I don't have enough points to use them. Ah. Oh. Well, I don't want to come across like a genius or anything, but I saw that one coming. <laughs> God. At least I hurt them. Yeah. Hurt them bad. bad. Uh, I have another army <laughs> that's like right next to them. So I'm going to do auto combat and see if I can win. And I did it. So I Yay! actually won. Yay! Even though I went through that enormous slug, I, I took her in. <laughs> so fuck you, you bastard. Tex, you asshole. I'm going to annex it, but it'll take eight turns. Eight turns? Yeah. Ew. Why so long? I don't know, because it takes a long time to absorb a city, I assume. Ooh. Uh, wonder if I can do any operations primed and ready. Okay, so let's bring up those gunships. Bring them back. Bringing them back! 
I mean, I had, I gave some of them interlocking armor, but maybe... Maybe, I think nanite injectors would actually be a good thing. Nanite injectors do seem like just a good idea. Everything's weak to arc, so I'll give these guys electric ammo. And hope that works, I guess. <laughs> So, Metalonsk has a combined military power of 2,600 points. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm there yet. Yeah, and Tonsk is under attack now. That's oh, yours, and they're also right? trying to retake Erdinsk. Uh, I'm gonna auto this. Okay. Hey, yeah. you won. Oh, but he's gonna do it again. I need to reinforce that place because... Oh, uh... Oh my god. Tex is demanding that I become his vassal. I don't think I'll be doing that. <laughs> no. 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 How the hell did he do that? He took back Erdinsk, I think? Well, that was a meat grinder. Uh, and the automaton keep wanting shit. Fine, I'll do whatever. Okay. Operations primed and ready. Um I think I can do Soul Fire. Launch that against Tex. And now he's at He's taking 20% damage. He's on soul burn. I want the Doomwood. I want it bad. With a name like Doomwood, I mean, come on. A Doomwood? Ambush fields, no! Yeah, I got ambushed and ambushed. <laughs> and they so... took it! It's turds. Crap. Ooh, I can annex another sector. That's cool. William Civitz wants to join me, and he seems kind of cool, so... Okay. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, Tex is attacking um, the, uh, what do you call it, that that on-fire thing? The, oh, the operation? Though. And he took uh, it. Oh. So there seems to be a bit of a reversal of fortune happening. <laughs> Let's 
so, um, shit. Okay, I think I've got three armies all surrounding Metalnisk. Um, I should be stronger. So I should be able to take it. Yeah, I'm just going to auto-resolve this combat because it's not even a contest. Yeah! I've taken over his colony. Which one? Uh, Metalonsk. Metalusnik? Oh. Metalusnik. Well, how did you manage that? I lost everything. Uh, I went in with three armies. I basically threw my entire army at it. I think I'm doing all the heavy lifting here. That's what I think is happening. Ah. Uh, um, so I can either absorb the colony or raise the colony. Should I just raise it? I feel like I should just raise it. I mean, it's probably better to take it, but if you can't hold it, then you should raise it. I don't think I can hold it. Yeah, then I'm just going to raise oh. it. Hero Resurrection Protocol. Yeah, I'll do that. Huh. I need more armies because I lost all mine. That's uh, not a good place for your armies to be, Lost. Uh, just saying. Alright. Uh-oh, the spacers are moving on Tonsk. Yeah. Er... Not? They're going after the tofu. Not the tofu! Abandon the tofu because I can't defend it. Oh shit! Oh shit! Tex is moving back on me. Ah! Yeah. With a lot, with a oh lot my God, of where units. Did that come from? Uh, out of the tele, the the portal that's right beside me. Oh shit! Hey, that's the stuff that killed me. I think you should kick its ass. I will certainly try. I I don't think I'm gonna have a whole lot of success there. But we'll we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll make another unit or little army over in the main capital area. That's gonna need port. Operations primed and ready. I think I can... Okay. You've got to protect the tofu. Auto resolve it is. They took it. No. Half my empire is missing. That's. That's so not okay. Operations primed and ready. That should be illegal. Uh, 
which enemy army is the biggest and scariest? This one. Okay. I weakened Tex a little bit. We're just gonna hold the line here. I'm making 20 cosmite a turn, so maybe that'll help. Was I making that before? I can't remember. I don't remember either. I think I was at 15. Incoming communication. I think I might just do a mass conscription because uh, I'm in trouble. Is that an option for you? Well, I'm just going to be producing a bunch of low quality units. Oh, I see. As to I see. My super heavy laser tanks. Gotcha. The Amazons keep, like, coming back to me and saying, you know, we think, uh, we think we should be friends. And then I say, no thanks. And then they come back and they're like, you know, we hate you. Okay. And then the next turn they go, you know, we should be friends and just keep flip-flopping. Uh, they've taken the high energy warp complex. Shit, I'm in, I'm in trouble. Operations Where ready. is that? Right south of Carbvost. Oh, there, there it is. Yeah, that's... Do you think it's Tex? It is Tex, it's... yeah. Okay, well, I'm on the exact opposite side of the world from you. I have to go... The closest route is through all of Tex's territory. So... I don't know if I can get to you in time. <laughs> but I successfully destroyed his colony. And he left, so... I should have destroyed the one I took. I, uh... Should have done that. Alright, going after the Ecstatic Orbit Hotel and Spa. Huh. Shit, the wrong hero came back. Oh, not that guy, I hate that guy. William uh. Simpson, bastard. You have no control over what hero comes back? Not to my knowledge. That's annoying. It is annoying. And my incineration, incineration strikes don't have the shit. Okay. Um. Crap. It's got an army power of <laughs> about 2,000. Ooh. Those spacers sure is a bad time to invade, or I guess a good time to invade. Yeah. 
a bad time for you. Yeah. Apparently I'm untrustworthy now, which doesn't make sense. I hate the autonom. Oh, they're uh, being huge jackasses, ready. aren't they? Well, I mean, I, they just keep telling me to do stuff and I never do it, so it's probably my fault, but still. I'm just going to start producing, like, waves of guys who suck and then send them in to die. <laughs> that, uh... Seems... Seems good. Might try to counterattack next next turn, but uh, I don't know. Tex is a jackass. <laughs> yes. Can can confirm. Uh, is he taking a bunch of your shit? Yeah, he's moving on Rosita Fields. Well, I have drawn a large portion of his army out all the way by by Coffee Park. Are you so sure? That's... I'm looking at a pretty large army in Rosetta Fields. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five armies in Coffee Park. Oh my god. Grind and ready. So that's five armies that aren't attacking you. So We're that's screwed. That's good. It's got entirely too much force ask me. Okay. Those spacers are just walking around outside Tonsk, just not doing anything. Operations primed and ready. Oh, this is now seven armies. Are they all strength six? Uh, almost all. One of them strength four. Right. Shit. I forgot that, uh... 
when you're when you're going into like a specialty area, you can't bring in more than one army, can you? Uh, yeah, only the an well, army yeah. standing on top can enter. Well, uh, that's a. 1900 defender power versus an attacker power of 1300. Is it worth it? Especially with uh, Tex. Yeah, Tex is too close. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take the risk. They'll just move up and take a different sector. <laughs> the void storm in here. Where? Oh. Damn it. Okay. There's a lot of armies from Tex over here. Like, a lot. I'm now seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine armies over here. Jesus. Should we, like, surrender? What do you reckon? I mean, I'm doing okay. Are you? Uh... I am doing slightly okay against two armies that aren't attacking me. Okay. So... The situation is critical. Okay. Uh, do any of your colonies have turrets or anything? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they do. Okay. Well, but, like, not enough to, to stop the uh, old Tex up here. Yeah. Oh. Tex the warmonger. This little war of yours isn't going well. Not just my war. Because, I, I mean, you started the war with him. I accepted your invitation. That's a technicality. You told me to do it. I thought, yeah. I, d I did no such thing. Alright. Leave, I'm just waiting on you. Uh, I'm waiting on you. Really? So yeah, I hit end turn. Place. I hit end turn. Uh, it's just us two. The rest is the AI, so it's, this is uh, waiting on other players? Yeah. That's weird. Do you want to set uh, to not ready and then try it again? Well, I, I did that. Oh. Try again. Did that not work for you either? Uh, no, I'm still waiting for the players. What? Okay, that's bizarre. But uh, considering what time it is, do we want to just Put down the game and see if it works again on Friday? Yeah, it works for me. All right. Well, I guess that calls us here for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for joining us for another Wild Card Wednesday. But we'll be back on Friday to uh, to pick up where we left off in tonight's game. We're just going to keep doing Planetfall until this campaign's done, because got to finish what we start, right? Yeah, so... uh. 
Once again, thanks for joining us. We'll be back on Friday at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. The same time we always start. Same time we started today. Uh, am I missing anything? Uh, no, I think you got it. All right. Have yourself a good night, folks. Bye.